All right, let's go. The crypto and altcoin markets continue to crash right before our eyes, seemingly lower prices every single day. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you why that may not be such a bad thing for these few projects in particular. I'm gonna share with you what projects I'm going out and investing in during this time of consolidation. I'll tell you my schedule, the frequency, how I'm doing it, the amounts I'm doing, and why I'm so excited about these projects in particular. The good news that's coming out, you know, it's not all bad, right? Like the market has crashed, that could be a very, very good thing. It's all about mindset, it's all about evaluating the cryptos that you liked initially, Trust me, they are still developing. They are still going through proposals. Governance is happening with these projects. All they're doing is advancing. They don't care about the price, but we'll start right here because this is one that we talk about all the time. Actually, this is two that we talk about all the time, but Orion and Phantom have now teamed up. So now you can trade Phantom on Orion using the Orion protocol. And this is great for both projects. Obviously, Orn is something we talk about all the time, but this tweet from Phantom Hub, announcing that Orion Protocol is your single point of access into crypto for DEX, for centralized exchange. And it's really cool because we do talk about this all the time, but it's one thing to see it because they put out this really cool picture of the whole Orion ecosystem. And you can see this is a project that is you know, continuing to do big things, but is already big already. And if you look over here at the price of the Orin token, currently trading at $1.39, we've seen a little bit of a rebound today across the market, nothing crazy about this 3%. So it's in that range right now. And the Orin token serves as a governance token for this platform. So I'm always talking about it. It's something that I'm interested in, obviously Orion and Phantom, good for both of them. So congratulations to them. I did wanna bring that to you, but let's start over here because this is really big news. And really you can't do an altcoin video at this point in time and not mention what is happening right now with Ethereum undergoing the massive merge from proof of work to proof of stake. And we don't have an exact date yet. However, the Ethereum 2.0 is now on several of the Ethereum test nets. So that's a very good sign, very positive, very positive move in the right direction. And the way this goes obviously is they will test it on the test nets and then after that, after everything goes well, it will deploy to the main net and essentially now it will be merged. Like it is proof of work and now it will be proof of stake and the merge will take place and the new chain will go forward and seemingly there are many, many validators. So uh, thousands and thousands of validators and it looks like this is going to happen sometime in August. So this is obviously going to send ripple effect through the entire altcoin market because there are so many ERC-20 tokens that will now seemingly be more tradable. If you've been trading on Ethereum recently, you have noticed that fees have started to diminish a little bit. Is this something to do with proof of stake? Possibly. And, and just to be clear, the merge to proof of stake does not mean like we merged to proof of stake and now fees are, are less. That should be a result of the merge, but it's not necessarily going to happen on day one. But a lot of good things are happening for Ethereum. And I just think when you're looking to invest in altcoins, this is a great one to play as a dollar cost average because it is right now trading at that $2,000 level down about 35% over the past 60, 90 days or so. So definitely pay attention to this as we get closer to this date. I'll bring more and more information about what's happening, but this is definitely the biggest story going on right now in altcoins. And just to be clear, at the time of this video, Ethereum right now, 1985, so $1,985. And if we look right here, over the past 30 days, down 35%. So look, definitely take a look at Ethereum. It's one that's on my list, obviously, just adding and adding and adding because I think this is, oh, look, it's Ethereum. I think this is here for the long haul and I think these prices are not here for the long haul. So take a look at that, do your own research. All right, next project we're gonna talk about and spend a little bit of time talking about is Polkadot. Obviously, DOT is the token, is the currency. One of my favorite projects, we talk about Polkadot a lot on this channel and right now going for $9.94 and it's up a little bit over the past 24 hours but if you look right here down quite a bit over the past 30 days down close to 50 percent over the past 30 days and it did have this all-time high as you can see at close to 55 dollars but when we look at polka dot the first thing you want to take a look at is the parachains and this is how their whole system works. So Polkadot, again, main relay chain will have several blockchains, hundreds of blockchains underneath it that do their own thing. 
built on Substrate, which is the programming language. And basically these blockchains are their own little ecosystems and they can do their all their transactions. Within them, they can have what's called para-threads and para-threads would be the equivalent of applications. So you have Polkadot up on, Polkadot up on top, you have the para-chains underneath, bunch of parachains underneath and each of these parachains has their own pair of threads so you have this whole ecosystem which means that these pair of threads are obviously very important but one failing would not fail anything to do with Polkadot. it's just like okay that pair of thread didn't do well it's not one that's going to continue they're not going to renew their license and we'll get somebody else in here so i do like that whole structure and look even though the price has gone from a point of 54 dollars close to 55 dollars just a few months ago to this current price of under ten dollars do you think gavin wood is sitting on his ass saying like, oh man god the price is down we just might as well just pack it up and go home no what they're doing is inviting more and more parachains to join obviously they're doing it five at a time but not just on Polka, Kasama is booming with these threads that want parachains that want to then migrate over to Polkadot. so it's going to become a very hotly contested competitive ecosystem as well but then they're going out and doing things like this. Uniswap community voting on Moonbeam Gnosis chain deployment. And Moonbeam is one of these pair chains on Polkadot. So look, the interoperability aspect of Polkadot has always been the most fascinating and exciting thing to me. And I think now, as we move to the second part of 2022 and beyond, we're going to see what this really means. Because if you look over here, as we always talk about, it's not just about finance. And Polkadot and Cosmos and some of these other interoperability hubs are really going to show us that. This article right here, which I will leave in the description box, go ahead and check it out, lists the 13 best Polkadot ecosystem tokens to watch. And while it has Polkadot and Kasama 1 and 2, beyond that is a list that really like is just how not only are we going to do finance in this whole web 3.0 world but how are we going to live when you look at a project like doc it's very very exciting this is just one of the projects that has really only just started isn't even a parachain yet but make any document tamper proof and with verifiable credentials so you have to understand right like we all want to go to web 3 we all want to well some of us want to go to the metaverse right but what does that actually mean because we're not going to be theoretically ourselves in this whole metaverse web 3 ecosystem we could be an avatar we could be something else so how are we verifying ourselves how are we sending information not only about ourselves our pii personal identifiable information but let's just say we have documents that we want to transfer or we need a loan in the metaverse or we need something like that this is something doc is going to allow you to capture your own information and make sure it's verifiable on a blockchain so decentralized it's all built on substrate so this is a really cool project and this is what i mean you can come over here and you can read about their consensus, which is a very cool, they have this whole thing, it's called Grandpa Ghost Based Recursive Ancestor Deriving Prefix Agreement. Holy cow, I can't believe I got it on the first try. Quite a mouthful, but they're doing big things over here in you know ways that we just haven't even thought of before because I think we talk about blockchain, distributed ledger, and it's all still about finance. Polkadot over this next six months is going to redefine what you think about distributed ledger technology, taking it to another level, way beyond finance. And like I said, this project just starting, you can come look at their roadmap. They're basically just getting up and going here. And if this becomes a parachain, could be very, very exciting. You can come and look at their token right here, called the DOC token, currently going for two cents. And again, you can come and read about their tokenomics. It says 1 billion total supply and it lays it out as far as circulating supply and where the rest of the token. So these are very interesting things that are going to be happening on Polkadot, which is why I think it makes the DOT token at $10 an absolute steal right now. All right, let's keep it moving because this next project always doing something new and exciting. This is something I've personally been involved with for probably about two and a half years. I just like their I like their initial use case and all the stuff that they keep doing is all very exciting. It's called Trust Swap. They do have a token called Swap. This is the homepage and they have a lot going on. So I'm just going to go quickly through what they have going on, come back and review this. They do have this cool this is one of the coolest things that they just added recently, the crypto app. So look, we know there's many crypto apps 
This is the crypto app and it is really, really cool. I do personally use this. They have a very nice layout for crypto news and how you can display the different. I just like the way it looks, right? So I still use CoinGecko. I don't use CoinMarketCap that much, but this app is definitely, you know, taken over as far as usage time for crypto apps. So check it out. They have this whole swappable thing. You can come buy, trade, top NFTs, and then it gets into this whole thing. So they have their whole launch pads, which I'll show you here. This is a great way to get involved on the ground floor for a pretty trusted vetted crypto project. And a lot of them, I'll show you here, they've, they'll show you the stats. A lot of them have gone on to have very, very good success. And all it takes really is staking some of your swap tokens and you're eligible to participate in these launch pads, which generally rewards you with a initial price of these tokens. So you get these initial tokens at a very discounted price. And generally a lot of these things tend to blow up. I'll show you here in a second. They have staking, which I do. And I've been doing the staking for a while, but I'm gonna actually transition it to the long-term staking because obviously if it's a project that you like and you don't plan on taking the tokens for a while and they're going to offer you additional rewards like I'll show you for long-term staking, it's something to take a look at. And then this is really what initially drew me to this whole thing. Token swaps and escrow. So the ability to tie up tokens or time permitted payments or recurring billing. They also have trust swap for business. So businesses that want to mint their own tokens. So much going on right here. And it's all seemingly very, very needed and it works for them and their whole ecosystem. So you can come over here, they have their whole dashboard built out. If we go into the dashboard right here, you're gonna see some of the stats, everything that's going on. And then if you come along the side here, you're going to obviously connect your wallet. They are up on a few different chains here. You can see you can stake here. My stake is right there. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see things like the long-term staking, which I am going to participate in. And I will say this, if you come over here and you wanna participate in the long-term staking, go straight to the long-term staking. Don't go to the, to the regular staking because unstaking obviously does, there's a little bit of of an onboarding period there. But again, like I mentioned, they have this cool thing for airdrops. So you can come over here, participate in these airdrops that are being listed on TrustSwap. So I like that because TrustSwap goes through and vets these projects. Look, you always have to do your own research and nothing is a guarantee, but I do like that we do have a little bit of a vetting there. You can see they'll give you the information about these projects. But if you scroll down here, you'll see how some of these past projects have done that have gone through this launch pad. And you can see some of the success and see if this is something you wanna take part in. So I always like what they're doing. And if you go into the app store, I have iOS, but I think it's obviously available on Android as well. This is the logo for the app, the crypto app. It's not in the app store for me. It didn't come up as the crypto app, just crypto app. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Really cool stuff over there. And if we look at the price of this, currently going for 40 cents. And again, this price increase is throughout the market today bumped up a little bit. I'm recording this on May 21st. But look, this is something I think you should take a look at. I've been holding the token for a while. I like it. It's something that I think is going to increase in value. So it's not something that I'm, you know, trade frequently. If you look and you do want to acquire this token, bring up the trading pairs here. Uniswap, PancakeSwap, Gate.io if you're outside of the US, that's where you can get this one. So for me, it would probably be PancakeSwap or Uniswap. And like I said, this is not a time where you should be going out and throwing your money at every single project and hoping it sticks. In times of bull market, yeah, you can go out and do that. And you could be okay because generally everything's gonna go up. When we're in this times of contraction, of downward movement, it's time to identify the projects that are the highest as far as what you think overall utility and use case is, and then put the majority of your funds there, leaving some of those other projects to go by the wayside. My opinion on this is prices could drop even further. And for me, I'm not really trying to catch a falling knife, and I'm not really trying to predict the bottom. What I do is, on times when I feel like there's more fear in the market, I go out and buy. And when I feel like there's you know a lot of excitement or a day like today where everything's up 5%, I'll just hold and I won't buy. It's a very simple strategy, but this works and it, it should work, right? Like if you buy on the days when everything's down 10% and then you hold or sell on the days when everything is up 5%, you generally will accumulate more or make a little bit of profit. So that is what I do. And again, I use this tool all the time for those who are not sure if it is fear in the market, come over here. I'll leave a link to this website. It tells you 
There's extreme fear in the market. This updates every 24 hours, uses a lot of external factors, social media, news articles, what people are doing as far as trade volumes and all of these things. And there's extreme fear. There's been extreme fear yesterday, last week, last month there was fear. There's fear in the market. It is an okay time to go buy. This will change and this will go to neutral. This could go to greed or extreme greed. Those are the times where you just, hey, sit on your winnings and just maybe you want to sell a little bit and, and convert some to USDT or something like that, another stable coin. But that is personally what I do. Frequency, as frequently as I can at this time and the amount of the money that I'm contributing as much as I can possibly do. Don't put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, but I generally think when everybody is fearful, this is the time to go accumulate. Please don't be the guy that buys in, FOMOs in at the top and then wants to tell me in my comment section, oh, this video didn't age well from three weeks ago. Hey bro, I'm not playing the three week game. I'm not going for to make a quick score in three days. I'm going for three years, 30 years. This technology is here to stay. Identify the projects you like and stick with them. Until the next time, be safe.